Hello. <clears throat> Good morning. Really, it's the middle of the day. It's super hot. Uh, yet, I just needed to be around my tree. So I'm out in the country at my <clears throat> friend Lester's house. He's an interesting dude. He he can't figure out why we're friends because he doesn't really like people. But I wore him down, and now we're best friends. Uh, so a little bit of a plug for the Righteous Tiger. Many of you have asked where to get the shirts. This is a tank, uh, but there's a, a t-shirt design as well, and I'm gonna add some more onto the um, site. So I will include how to get a shirt. It is on what I call the investment page of the, uh, of the website. It really right now is the only page of the website because uh, the rest is getting built. And um, anyway, so I'll include that down here somewhere or here maybe and uh, how you can get yourself a shirt and um, and other ways to support future programming. So that is um, that's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to move into several things today. I am planning on stopping it editing it so that I'm in these various positions of deer and monkey in particular. Those seem to be the ones that are uh, kind of the most dance steps, we'll call it. The most dance steps. And um, swimming dragon. My real goal eventually, we're on day nine. Okay, so day nine. My real goal is to, believe it or not, have us do the eight brocades, the five animals and the form on a daily basis but we want to do it right so we're going to concentrate on on the um, animals a couple more days and then you're going to have yourself an incredible qigong program when we put all of that together uh, some of you already have your own individual uh, practice dovetailed in before and after this practice so that's that's um exciting too for a lot of you so that that can be scheduled with me a one-on-one -on -one class to make you program all right i'm gonna stop talking okay i'm not gonna talk from over there i'm just gonna sound it in or voice over okay i don't know if you can see the pants though i mean they are Tiger. It's all coming together. <laughs> Mismatch. I'm preparing for the swimming dragon. Inhale, arms overhead. So bring the palms together. Really strengthen your legs and bring the arms down. Okay, now lift your left elbow, come across the throat. Now here it's going to look a little different. You're going to let the arms go straight in front and halfway you roll the wrists so the palm switch and then across the lower abdomen and then back over across the lower abdomen so now the other way through the middle and then the other way across your throat so that's a full round a full side and now allow your elbow to come up come across go through the middle with straight arms and across the lower, elbows really pulling into the body. Straighten the arms, go across the throat, and stretch up. Stretch side to side. Side and side. This, a lot of this is to massage the internal organs. And you are alternately compressing each side of your waist. Now, your right elbow up across the, the throat. So when you bend into it, straighten and over the lower belly and lower abdomen, straighten the arms again, and then across the throat and stretching up. Stretch side and stretch side down again lift your right elbow 
the throat, arms straight, and elbows into the belly, cross, compressing, straighten the arms over the throat, and stretch up. Coming down, left elbow up, straighten the arms, elbows in. So you're squatting down as much as comfortable. Remember, you can do this in a chair. Squ straighten the arms over the throat and stretch up. Stretch to the side and stretch to the side. And really looking for watching this waist squeeze. Okay, so right elbow up, straighten the arms, come around, elbows in, straighten the arms. That's the middle part over the throat and stretch straight up. Coming down again. Okay, you see when I... You're gonna let the waist, and then when the arms are straight, there's your, that would be your left waist is squeezing. And then when we go in, really pull the elbows in. Try to have them touch your body. So the arms are bonus, really, if you could be just going side to side to side to side, compressing the sides of your waist. So that's Swimming Dragon. Harmonize chi in between, palms up and palms down, palms up, and exhale, down, lifting up, and exhaling, palms down. Preparing for the first of the five animals, the tiger, grab, make fists, coming up, and then grab, and Pull down. Really, the arms, the palms should open about your face or chest. Coming up, make fists and up. I like to inhale when I do the action and then ex start my exhale when I open the palms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That was Tiger 1. Now Tiger 2 coming up, lifting up. So here, both feet are going to be flat, and you pounce to the middle. Make claws. Now the wave action up. Shift some weight over to your right leg, and then pounce with your left leg out. Rolling up. I'm going to go to the middle in between. Mm -hmm. Down. Wave action up. Let the head come up last. So that's the, the instruction with the wave. Let the head lift up last. Weight into your left leg and right leg out. Wave action up. Go to the middle in between. And that, this is the inhale, that strong inhale, zipping up and exhale your left leg out. You can move as actively as you have your balance doing that. Middle, coming up, and right leg out. And wave action up, and to the middle, and coming up. Again, shift weight right, and Left leg out, through the middle, big inhale, strong inhale, exhale, inhale coming up, and right leg, and inhale coming up. Oh, that was a little liver release in the tiger. So harmonize chi in between. The liver really needs a job. If you don't give it a job, it's gonna it's gonna act out. 
So, sh getting ready for deer one, shift your weight. The arms, remember the arms follow where you put your weight. Step out 45 degrees and then turn. Don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around because I, I think that is a very good way to explain it. If you just wanna watch this, shift back, arms up, so arms through this big circle. Weight shifts other side. Step 45 degrees out and twist. You're looking for that back heel. The deer is about the kidneys. Strengthening the bones and you see this great little twist for our low back too. Okay, shift weight. Step out and twist. Remember you're doing your deer horns. It's the middle two fingers in and looking back. Shift weight back, arms up and over. Shift weight, arms follow that weight shift. So let's turn. So shift weight, shift over, empty stance. Step out with your left foot, 45, 45 degrees, and then twisting, the back leg is straight, twisting, and you're looking for your back heel. Your left arm is down around your waist and the right arm is up around your head. Shift weight back, arms up and over. Now you're gonna shift your weight over to the left leg. Arms follow that. Step out with your right leg and twist. You may, your twist may be only straight, only straight to the right for now. That's fine, if somewhere to go. I really want you to focus on the stances. Go back into empty stance. So deer one, what we just did was is front stance, empty stance, front stance, empty stance. Now deer two is front stance and then back stance. You have weight in the front leg, front stance, and sometimes you just lose it. <laughs> That's just, it's just honest. I, I over pranced, over prancing front stance, shift back, back stance and front stance now get ready to prance okay that was just the perfect amount of prancing forward back stance front stance prance okay i'll show you the side prance you get weight out of that out of that leg so you can forward stance now the weight goes into it front leg bent back leg Straight, then shift, back leg bent, front leg straight, and front stance. Prance. Other side. Step forward, front stance. Shift back, back stance. Front stance, prance. Step forward, front stance, shift way back. Forward front stance again and prance it out. Step forward. Okay, so if you feel like your balance is, you know, going side to side, like you don't have to be on the balancing beam. You can be nice and wide. Front stance, back stance, front stance again, and prance. Great. Don't let that be the final prance of your day balance in between and exhale down preparing for the bear so the bear you really depending on how comfortable it is for you the bear you can really arch back let yourself arch back a little bit knees bent so your low back doesn't jam churning the hands are in, in the front of you to remind you that you're like kind of churning the belly and we prepare for bear two so bear two is front stance back stance and we go front stance back stance front stance back stance and that next front stance is going to lift that back leg front that let arm goes with it front stance back stance turn the, at the waist front stance turn again back stance turn again lift back leg and step so this is at 45 degrees 
front stance, back, back leg lifts, forward, back, forward, back. One more. And front, back, front, back. Oh, one more. Front, back, shifting weight. Arms are bonus, good. That was bear two. Okay, monkey time. It is hot, y'all. Woo! Monkey. Thumb is in, and you're going to grab. Okay, let's, let's harmonize in between. The hand gesture is the thumb in, up, you're up onto your toes, and then turn, turn back, shoulders down, arms down. Lift up, and your little paws are in front, and turn, head back, shoulders down, heels down. And grab, lift up, turn the head, turn back, shoulders down, arms down. Coming up, lift as high up onto your toes as comfortable. Lower down. Lifting up the midline and turning. Down. So the breath here is that active inhale when you are lifting the arms and then a relaxed exhale when you lower down. Okay, preparing. I've turned around so you can see. Now this is in slow, slow motion. So I am preparing. I've stepped back. Weight is in your right leg and you're in empty stance. So it's as if you just ate the fruit with your left hand. You have to start somewhere. So now we turn the body. Turn the body 45 degrees to the left. And then step with the left. And here we are going to move into front stance. Turn the torso over that left knee. And reach and grab for the fruit with your right hand. You can come on to the back toes. The right hand is grabbing the fruit. Bring the fruit back. Empty stance, all the weights in your right leg. And you're eating the fruit with the right hand. And then moving into the other side. The left leg's gonna, you're stepping back 45 degrees. Stepping back, turn the torso. You're in empty stance, weights in the left leg. Turn back, right foot, front stance. Grab for the fruit with the left hand. Back to empty stance, weight in the left leg, eat the fruit. Step back with the right. So you see this is the same thing. Shift, empty stance, weight is in right leg. Front stance, grab with the right. Bring it back, eat the fruit. Step back, reach forward, grab, eat the fruit. Step back with the right, turn, step, and grab, and eat the fruit. Good, excellent. There's a few more here from the side, so you can see how I'm turning, grabbing, bringing it back, eating, step back, empty stance, back to front stance, grab, and bring it back. Really, you can work this really bend into your knees. The lower you sink down, the more you are going to the more you are going to work your legs. Good, you can go really fast too. Snatch a bunch of fruit. Good. And work it out, you can shake it out in between. Inhale and exhale lower. Preparing for the heron, or crane rather. Lift up, look under the arms. Arms back, lift the leg back. Inhale up, shift the weight so it's easier to lift that leg up and it's not as um, altering to your balance. So let's see, try to lift the leg a little higher. Remember, you can always keep that foot as 
the kickstand, but if you can get all the way parallel to the ground, that is an option. If you want to practice being parallel, you can use your hands on, like, put your arms on something in front of you and lift the leg. So getting the body parallel to the ground, lifting the leg up. Coming up and leg back. The back leg can just stay as your kickstand. It's really about the lungs. Everything else is a bonus. And Heron too, there's a crane too, there is a variation you can try too. Lift up halfway and then lifting up all the way and kick the leg straight out. Bend the knee and bring it back in. Shift weight to your left leg. Halfway the knee lifts and down and then up and kick leg straight out. Shift weight to the right. Knee lifts, left knee lifts arms lift, kick out, arms down, leg down, knee lifts up. So really use this, the pose activates, heals, re-energizes your lung energy. So work with intending for your breath to really be moving into the lungs. Leg can kick out and down. And finishing up. Harmonize and exhale down. Summertime. Dogs are. Much different in the summertime. Preparing for lift chi up, pour chi down, making sure you can see my arms. Head touches sky, feet stand on earth, body relaxes, mind expands, mind is clear, attitude is humble. Be quiet, be respectful, think space, think body. The entire body is harmonized with chi. Flex the wrists, but begin to practice. And moving the arms out and back. The arm itself is swinging from the shoulder. So the effort in the arm is flexing the wrist. And the mid-back is really, you're asking the mid-back to move the arms. And gather chi in the front. And direct chi. So it's you're directing asking for the earth chi that you just magnetized to now fill the dantian and move the hands around behind and then we direct chi to ming man lift chi up da bao deliver chi and moving arms forward deliver chi great for focus and attention turn palms up arms come out and then pour chi down. Turn palms up and lifting chi overhead. And here we harmonize we, the alchemy of your left and right side of the body coming together and it moves down the midline. So the alchemy of the yin and yang, masculine, feminine, upper, lower, point fingers forward, open the hands to form a triangle and then separate the triangle. And we push and pull. Three times, big shoulder rolls, push and pull. The mid-back is the prime mover of the arms. Try to have that whip action go down the arms. Open and close. And open and close. And open and close. Moving the arms out, forming a straight line. Three times, shoulders forward, shoulders up, shoulders back and down. Forward, up, back and down, 
forward, up, back, and down. Check in with your legs, strong legs moving towards one another. Up and down three times. Moving up and down. Turn palms up and lift chi overhead and you'll pour chi into bahue. One cycle of breath. Now we're bringing into the body and down through the body. Pure healing chi down and then fill the <clears throat> lower energy center dantian with chi. Hands move around. You find the find Ming Man on your low back. And then tuck the chin and roll down. Okay, the leg turbine, significant weight forward into the toes. Bend down, shift weight back, and up. So in the beginning, or even when you kind of redo some things, maybe it's just learning and shifting weight, toes and heels. Roll yourself up. Come all the way back up the front of the legs to liver chi. Dantian, and then the arms come by our sides. Inhale, the arms are going to come out. Flex the wrists. Gather chi. Harmonize chi. Push and pull. Horizontal collect chi in and out. Think space, think body, collect, receive, absorb, gather. Three times. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Vertical collect chi, up and down three times. And then turning palms up and lifting chi overhead. So it's a combination of chi you just freed up in your upper body, and it's also chi you've gathered from the universe. Pour it into the head, and now connect fingertips to yin tong, and come around to yu zen, where your skull and your spine meet. Reach in between the shoulder blades and up underneath the arms between the shoulder blades. Stop at Da Bao. Deliver Chi. Move to Ming Men. Deliver Chi. Dan Tien. And down the front of the legs. So think about all that you have learned, all these different acupressure, acupuncture points, all these energy centers, building and building. Now, the leg turbine, forward, down, back, and up. I'm going to feel that stretch in the inner thighs and freeze up the low back. Best way to do that is keep legs together. Roll up. Hands come up the back of the legs. And then move hands to Dantian. Deliver chi, and then arms down. Inhale, coming up, arms at 45 degrees, deliver chi. Pour chi down. Coming down the sides, very beneficial for the ears jaw, throat, palms forward, your right arm for first, and collect chi. So anytime we go across the midline, this is very harmonizing yin and yang. It's very harmonizing for the left and right brain. And then find chi hu underneath the collarbone, come around. Then the wrist will be crossed, and you're pushing a little bit more pressure with inhale. Inhaling and exhaling. 
three times. Wrists come off, roll the wrist, palms together, inhale, stretch up, lifting up, stretch up even more. And here's where I screw up. I think that we're coming back down. We're not. Now pull chi down. <laughs> I started to come down the midline. But just fixed it. And come around and deliver chi to third eye, bend the elbows, deliver chi to da bao. Gather behind, left and right. And turn palms forward. Women right hand, men left hand first. And breathing. Harmonized yourself, harmonized your relationships with other people, and harmonized the relationship with the world. But it's not like forever harmonized. You have to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Thank you to my teachers. And have a great frigging day. Whew. Wow. <laughs>